What's going on, man? I'm back with another video. Title of this video. What is the title of this video going to be? Hmm. We're just going to talk about how they move. That's all. That's all we're going to do. We're going to talk about how they move, how they act. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the energy. I think that a lot of the times what we overlook as the chosen ones is how bored other people be. We be knowing that they bored, you know what I'm saying? Family, we know that they bored. But, you know, God is about to bless us. God about to bless the chosen ones with a crazy amount of uh, success. Uh... Just health, wellness, you know, we push through, us chosen ones, we push through the times where, you know what I'm saying, they felt uncertain, and that's what it really takes to be great, like, in all reality. A lot of people, you know, they don't want us to, you know, climb the, climb the mountain of this life, lifetime that we're in. But uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, listen. Family. I don't know what to say because in all reality, it's like, like I said yesterday, I said this on the live yesterday, like, it's a difference between talking and action. And when people see the action, it's like, excuse me, it happens every time. And I got to let that negative uh, energy out. But like, and I feel lighter after I do that. But what I'm saying is, family, is like, we got to let um, ourselves grow. Like, period, we got to grow. But see, what, what happens is, is that we get stuck, stagnated, whatever. Okay, cool. But that's only for a measure of time. That's not forever. And see, your enemies love you being stuck. They love to, um, the, the satisfaction of you feeling stuck. And it's, a jo it's funny. It, it, it's even funny to me. When I'm healed and I'm looking back, I'm like, okay, they have me. They have, they got me. It's funny from that perspective, but... They really, like, real life found a way to torture you by, like, hiding information from you and deceiving you and tricking you. Uh, this world is deceitful. Uh, narcissism. Uh, family, listen. Anybody who narcissistically abuse you, bro, like, when you get into a better position, you already know what time it is, bro. Like, don't give them no love and no acceptance, like. Of course, treat them like what they tried to do to you didn't even bother you. But, like, besides that, that's 50% of the time. The other 50% of the time, let them know. Not verbally. Like I said, family, it's a difference between talking to somebody and showing somebody. I'm at the point in my life, family, where I only want to show because, well, 90% and that 10%, I'm flexing in your face. But that 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 90% is humility. Like, you're going to get... a. Uh, uh, a dose because you're gonna be like dang bro not even really focused on me for real like you know what i'm saying and that that really kills your enemies so one thing about life family is karma really don't be in uh, let me talk about karma real quick before i go family it catches up to people when you least expect it it, it don't be when you want it to hit the person and i'm not saying that you, you're even wanting to hit anybody i'm saying like when they're putting you through countless numbers of bull crap because the universe like i said yesterday in the live is an indirect it's a feminine the world is a feminine the universe is feminine right so it doesn't allow you to say oh i want to be rich i got i'm rich or i want this person to have karma and they have karma it don't work like that it's indirect so it's like okay well 
this person was put me through hell. Now I'm living my best life. And now this person is having the worst time of their life. So a lot of times, chosen ones, when you think about that psychology, the reason why a narc would keep playing with you for so long, because they know when you're happy, for some reason, their life probably go to shits. So just know that, family. Just know it. Appreciate that for what life is. And stop letting people anger you because they're trying to anger you to stress. And they're trying to, you know, in other words, put you in a bad place. You feel me? So, like, there's no reason people at the age of 20 and 30 should be stressed out. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason for this. But the real reason is, is that the real reason is, is that they don't, uh, you know, it's fools. It's fools. What they call it? Uh the world is now fools raising fools and fools following fools. You know, there's no more real leader. There's no more real integrity. There's no real, no more real um, people with pride that's going to really die for, you know, their family members no more. None of that. Like, everybody nowadays, family is like, okay, well, my life was shits. Now I got to be, I got to have the best life in the world. I mean, bro. Everybody ain't cut like us. So like this video, comment, subscribe. I'm going to see you on the next video, man. I love y'all, man. I'm going, man. Peace.